The Singapore key exports grew for the ninth straight month in August, but it's the smallest expansion since November. Non-oil domestic exports inched up by just 2.7% on year, far short of July's 12.7% expansion. On a monthly basis, it also missed forecasts, declining by 3.6% and extending July's fall. Our non-electronic shipments shrank due to a drop in non-monetary gold and pharmaceuticals exports. While electronic exports continued to grow, a one analyst describes the global chip shortage as a double edged sword for Singapore. Singapore's electronics uh, sector can actually benefit from the ongoing global supply chain shortage, but it's also dependent on a lot of the packaging and the testing. For the short term, we do think that there will still be very healthy demand for electronic products, um, especially with the 5G trend, but it would be on the assumption that we are not adversely impacted by some of the dis uh, supply chain disruptions. Singapore's key exports to top markets rose overall. Shipments of specialized machinery and other chip products to Taiwan grew, although exports to China and the EU fell. Another analyst warns that China's slowing growth doesn't bode well for Singapore's exports. Uh, given that China is Singapore's largest market uh, at 17% of uh, Nordex share, uh, the, a continued slowdown will likely weigh on Singapore's overall exports. Uh, secondly, uh, there is uh, the issue of tight freight capacity. Uh, we are seeing global container freight rates at record highs uh, four times above the levels last year. And that, uh, even though consumer demand may be improving in a lot of the other uh, export destinations, we could see a limit to how much could actually be exported out.